It's what it is. Um, that looks pretty good. That looks almost exactly like it. All right, there we go. That's better. That's much better. Okay, so now we have that done. We have uh, just a, like two or three more things to do. I want to go ahead and do the outline around the edge. Obviously, you can see we have that little rim thingy going on. Um, in the black uh, background as well. So we'll go ahead and we can do this a lot of different ways as well. But what I'm going to do is, mm, what do I want to do? Oh, I have an idea. We'll just do a cube. We'll add in a shift. Well, actually, we'll hit control. We'll hit shift uh, C to move our cursor in the center. Then we'll hit shift A to add in a cube. Um, we'll move it up about right there. We don't have to worry about thickness right now, uh, location right now. We'll hit S, Y to scale it inwards because it's not that thick. Um, and we're gonna move it behind the text, but later on. But we'll move it in, in front of the text right now. I want to turn back to solid viewport shading uh, material. Sorry, I'm not solid. But we'll go ahead and hit sh it's S X to scale it on the X axis. About actually, we will move it behind the words right now because that's where it's gonna be. That's where it's gonna be. So we want to see what it's gonna look like uh, back about right there. Yeah, almost touching, but not a little, not quite. Um, and let's see what it looks like in the camera. I'm uh, going to move it, scale it up a little bit so we can see it on the edges there and move it up a little bit more. About right there looks good. S, Z to scale it in. Words a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead now, since you know the edges are rounded, we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. And we will go ahead and grab the top, the, the, uh, the front face and the back face. We'll hit delete faces. Now we have the edges, which is fine, but they're not rounded still. So we're going to go to edge select mode right here by turning that to edge. We'll select all four edges by holding down shift and selecting each one of the corners. Um, and this one too over here. And then we will go ahead and hit control B to bevel the edges here. But you can see we have a little bit of a problem because the edges aren't beveling properly. The way we can fix this kind of is by going to object, uh, apply scale. We should do that anyway. And then you can see that they will now bevel properly. There we go. So now if we go into the camera's view, I want to see what this looks like uh, and how bevelly it is for real. So we'll go ahead and do maybe something like that. Yeah, something like that looks pretty good. Um, we'll save it again. Control S to save because um, we're getting down to the wire again. I don't want to have to do everything over. Um, and I think that looking good. Um, I want to go ahead and hit S Y to scale it inwards. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I'll, I'll show you in a second here. So we'll go and move it up back to where it was. And then we will go to the modifiers tab, add a modifier of solidify. And the solidify modifier will be a thickness somewhere around 0.1 M meters. Yeah, uh, I guess that looks pretty good. Uh, actually, that's too thick. We'll go 0 0.05. We'll cut it in half. Uh, and then from the camera's view too thick still maybe a little bit uh, 0.03 yes yeah, sure okay now this is too thick and backwards as well so s y scale it in i want it to be the same width on uh the x and the y that looks pretty good and then i want to go ahead and of course we will solidify a uh, subdivision surface to subdivide uh and make it a bit more round so it's not hard and now we can go ahead and turn the object uh, shade smooth and then when I want to kind of turn the thickness up even uh, again so we'll go 0.5 since we rounded it and then we'll s y scale it on the y axis a little bit to make it a bit more like that that looks pretty good I think that looks uh, correct and right so that looks great we'll save control s once again I'm getting kind of scared it's gonna it's gonna crash on us all of a sudden uh, now in the background you can see we have this cutout piece <laughs> once again for the word Pokemon we're going to go ahead and duplicate our little wireframe here by hitting Shift D and we'll just move it, hit, hit Y, we'll move it back up with the word detective up here. So we just have a duplicate of it just in case we screw something up. We have another copy of it, um, which looks good. We'll go ahead and from the camera's point of view, we will delete uh, the edges, the pieces we don't need here. So I'll go ahead and uh, we, need to, we need to apply both of the modifiers on our ring here on this guy so it apply apply and then we can go in and you can see we have all of these vertices and faces but that's uh, fine because we're gonna go to the cameras view and we're gonna delete the ones we do not need so with the knife tool um, we can click all the way through uh, and kind of get rid of the pieces we don't need like that but you can see if I were to flip around the back here it doesn't go all the way around the back it only does the front that we see so let's undo that Go back to the camera's view. We'll turn this little, um, the little the whole transparent scene back on. And we'll do the knife again, and then we can uh, cut it, enter, and now you can see when I go around, it 
still doesn't. Oh, that's right. That doesn't work anymore. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll get we'll get rid of that. We can do this an easier way. Easier way is just to grab the loop cut tool, and we'll loop cut it about right there. And we might as well just loop cut it in other places as well. So we'll loop cut it until we get where we want it to be, which is about right there. And then we'll loop cut it on the other side as well. So loop cut there, loop cut there, and then about there, I suppose. Looks good. Um, and we'll move it over by hitting GX. Yeah, all right, GX on that guy. And then we can select these vertices by going to vertices select mode. Make sure our, our tool is the select tool again. And then uh, we'll hold down uh, Shift and Alt to select everything. GX to, to move it over. And make sure you're not grabbing more than just the vertices you need. I think we have others yet. Yeah, we do. I don't need any of those. Uh, we will just so, no, just we'll hit B to box select just that loop right there. <laughs> Might as well. And then G Y to move G X to move it over. Sorry. Um, and then we can go ahead and select everything in between these. So in between these two right here, we need to delete everything in here. So we need to delete all the way from here to there to there to this one as well. And then we hit delete face nope not edges delete vertices and then we can go ahead and loop this back together by selecting all of these right here so we'll select uh, B to no nope, no nope, B to box select this guy right here hit F to create a face and now you can see we have that nice face there and then on this side we will do the same thing it looks behind the text when you look at it from the front but from this angle it looks right because it's not in the same it's not in the same place, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and perspective. It's all about perspective, guys. Um, we'll go ahead and hit B to select all this as well. F to create a face, and we are looking good. Now we can go back to render viewport shading and change. Well, we can turn our overlays back off too. And we can change this color to the nice blue that we have here. And this blue, it has a little bit of a gradient on it. So I don't think I want it to be the emission. Actually, I do because it looks so good. Um, let's do that. Let's do the emission, but I want to brighten it. So uh, I want to kind of stray a little bit away from what this detect that Pikachu looks like just a little bit. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit 9 on that. So we'll we'll call this uh, Poke Bar. <laughs> Poke Bar. And we'll change the strength to something higher. Maybe like, uh, no, not 0, 9. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe 10. Yeah, even 10. 10 looks good too. Uh, and then we'll change the color ever so slightly to be a bit more blue. All right, so that is looking good. I love it so much. Maybe... Can I even? I can get away with that. I can because it's still blue. Now it's a little bit more glowy than the actual logo, but I love the way it looks. It looks just so great. Well, maybe we'll do 15. I'll compromise. Um, that looks good. All right, good, sweet, 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 sweet. For the actual word Pokemon, I think it's still a little too. Maybe. Maybe that. Yeah, sure. That looks good. Okay. Maybe I want to bump it up to maybe six or seven. Maybe it's a little bit more vibrant than the actual logo here, but that's fine. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now the word detective, it doesn't look uh, right yet. It still looks kind of bright and stuff. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the specular for the uh, word detective up a little bit. And then we're going to turn the roughness down a little bit. We're going to do the same thing we did for the word Pikachu, um, but with the word detective. We're going to grab, we're going to turn uh, the whole transparent scene thingy off. We we'll turn our overlays back on, and I want to go back to material. Um, oh, look at that! Look at that bloom! Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Um, we'll go ahead and hit Shift A. We'll add in a light, and this will be a point light. And we'll move that up to the word detective here. And now we can't see it because um, it's not. We're not rendered, but that's fine. We'll go back to the camera view. Go back to rendered, and you can see. Ooh, that's way too bright. We'll move it backwards uh, just a wee bit. I don't want this to affect the word uh, Pikachu too much, so we'll turn the power of it down, and we'll just kind of do something like this, just so it has a little bit of a gradient on there. We'll um, move it a bit closer to the word detective, turn the power down, and I also want to select text and turn the roughness up because it's too too harsh, but not that much. It may be about right there, and we'll select that lamp. And then in another place, I think right here next to the eye, we'll do the same thing. We'll move it to where it needs to go, which is about maybe there. Move it up a little bit. Uh, turn overlays off. Yep, I think that looks pretty good. The C is looking kind of dark right now, so we'll go ahead and turn overlays back on. Duplicate it, move it on over to the C approximately. I don't want it to be too bright, though, so we'll do something like... Let's 